modern humans are the only form of prehistoric man from the Homo genus that has survived into modern times. But there is a debate going on on how this might actually have happened. Firstly, Neanderthals were not the only other form to be around in prehistory. There are at least a dozen other forms, many of which actually predate humans, many of which also coexisted alongside us, and there are at least two forms, the Neanderthals and the Denisovans, which actually interbred with humans and their DNA can still be traced in modern populations. How then did Homo sapiens come to be the only one which actually survived? Certainly, all the species were under pressure from the environment and survival as a species was tough. Many of these groups died out before we even arrived on the scene, but there does seem to be some factor of the interaction of the groups where one seems to survive, a new one displaces or replaces an older one. Now, the difference between modern humans and Neanderthals is very marginal. They could both form social groups, could both use tools, communicate ideas, had very similar brain capacity, and the overall body size was very similar, though the Neanderthals seemed to be a bit more heavily built. Now, direct conflict between the two groups has been proposed as a method, but this couldn't be responsible for the annihilation of a group as a whole. Any slight advantage the humans might have had in numbers would have been offset by the strength of the others. If humans could come up with a tool that uh, the others were incapable of thinking about and using it as a weapon, the others were certainly intelligent enough to copy it and use it later against them. And also then you've got to think about the numbers and the vast area that these people occupied at the time. Annihilation on such a scale really wouldn't have been possible by conflict alone. The other possibility is that humans outcompeted the others for resources. Now this is normally framed in the form of superior brained humans were able to find and hunt a wider range of food more efficiently than the others. However, this seems unlikely due to the similarities of their capabilities, especially with their brain size and the physicality. What might be more likely is that humans are actually out, out to starve the others. During winter and other times when food was scarce, heavily built Neanderthals would probably require far greater daily calorie intake than their human rivals. This could mean the difference between a species survival or it being supplanted, and possibly its ability to put on fat and survive starvation or hunger that actually enabled us to survive and out-compete the Neanderthals.